This was a great trip. The uh, people that went on this trip, my blessing was to stand back and watch the interaction with these beautiful children. The laughter, the smiles on their face, and when we walked into the rooms, um, there was a lot of anticipation, um, but there weren't the smiles until we started interacting with the kids and, and to hear the giggles and the laughs and to see the hugs and the kisses was just a real blessing. When we first began in 2002, the bleak, bleak conditions to see the children, many of them, uh, starvation mode. They didn't have enough food. They didn't have basic necessities. To go today to see those children in older orphanages, healthy, smiling. Many of the children recognize Kathy and me when we go because we go often. Just to be able to see that we've made a difference. She loved the perfume. We have, we have, look, it was full. Look how much she sprayed on. She sprayed about three days yes. worth on today. I can smell it. But everything she takes out, she goes, wow. When we went in to um, change some of these playrooms and group rooms, um, they did not want color. They wanted shades of brown. But now they walk in and they see this bright colored linoleum. They see color on the wall and you see the smiles on the children. It just affects them emotionally. And I think it affects, you can see it in the workers as well. Uh, they're happier, they're cheerier, and then they take better care of the children. They're more involved. I think that the children are interacting better. They're able to interact more with their environment. Um, in that orphanage in particular, I, I feel like all the work that Hopeful Hearts has done there has made huge changes. If you look at that orphanage compared to one that we've never been in, there's drastic, drastic differences. When children don't get the movement that they need, they will seek it out. So when you're seeing a lot of the rocking and sometimes you'll see head banging and those kind of things, a lot of the kids are sucking their thumbs, which is probably a good thing because they need the stimulation to their mouth. But um, it's to get the input that their body needs that, that they're not getting. Mm -hmm. And this is what this room's all about. Yes, this is what this room's all about. Physical therapy, so they can, they can be more on track developmentally. Correct. We have been told several times that there are a lot of organizations all throughout Ukraine that will come in and do one thing, whether it's send supplies or, or whether it's one mission trip, but they never see them again. So there's never a trust developed with those organizations because the directors don't really know them. They're in and out. And, and to be honest, I mean, what can you really get done in one week out of 52 weeks a year? Well, now everyone there knows that we come back. We're there consistently. There's a trust being developed. There's bonds, friendships. Мы не испытываем сложности и тревоги, что у нас не хватит каких-то медицинских препаратов. Since Hopeful Hearts is helping us, uh, there is no lack in any medicine. We have every medicine we might need here. You, you can, can count on them? Ну, вы можете рассчитывать на Да, да, однозначно. What I think is so neat about Hopeful Hearts is it's never gone. Because of our workers and the ladies that are there that are willing to to put in the long hours and to be in those orphanages on a daily basis. You know, Hopeful Hearts does not leave. The American portion of it leaves and we come back. But Hopeful Hearts is in Simferopol. It's in those seven orphanages 24-7. By taking the burden off of the director with a lot of the other stuff that we do, like if they've had five sick kids this month, that would have affected their food before we got here because she had to take that money and buy medicine. Now our girls bring medicine, and so she's still got plenty of money for food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But toward the end of the month, we get a lot of calls. We're about out of carrots. We're about out of cabbage. We're, and so the girls then bring in. We make sure on a weekly basis that they have what they need. So this is pretty typical. Yeah, this is pretty typical. We'll probably lift this one up to find plenty of stains. And it looks like it even has some blood stains in it. I mean, when you walk in, it's a uh, what smell? It is just a urine um, stain on odor. Odor. It almost reminds me of like walking in the Humane Society. It has that um, smell of just uh, urine in the air. I mean, it's just a dirty, gross smell. So besides being dilapidated, mm -hmm. it's not hygienic. It's not sanitary at all. So. Trip Pottinger went on the June trip, mission trip with us. Came home felt compelled to replace, no see if he could re 
raise enough funds to replace the beds. In less than two months, the, the funds were there to do that. This is the first batch of beds that over about 100 have gotten here, and you can see they're just very well firm, and they're all made. We had a local person make them, but all of them got brand new mattresses, nice and thick. Yeah, and, and support. Yeah, they've got a lot of support, very sturdy, heavy. And my middle daughter said when she got moved from, from the or other orphanage, she was very lonely. And she said, my friends and I, at night, we'd rock ourselves to sleep. We didn't have anybody to rock us. So um, now when I rock my children, I know how much they really appreciate it. Where will you go next year when you graduate? <laughs> you don't know? It's, it's, it's bittersweet. Uh, I love the kids. But the situation they're in, it's really terrible to, to see them. So um, just um, it's bittersweet. The transition home is probably the single most enjoyable aspect to Hopeful Hearts right now for me because I've seen kids that, that would most likely be on the streets. They have a place to live, but that's not all. It, it truly is a home. I mean, you walk in and you can see the joy in their eyes. Uh, we understand they're doing very well in school, um, especially the, the, the um, courses that pertain to their professional trades. Um, they're excelling at those, um, but they are learning how to be young ladies. Where are we, Jeff? I have no clue, but I'm scared to death. <laughs> we ran across on the streets boys that were the same age as these girls that came out of the orphanages at the same time had been living on the streets for about six months and the results of the street life was devastating to them and, and to see the stark contrast between the girls in the transition home and the boys that went to the street that's what makes this all worthwhile for me. Donors see that uh, the money that we take goes to the children not in someone's pocket, not in a government official, not in a director's pocket, not in anybody's pocket uh, the board of directors here still serves with no salary. We all do it as volunteers. Well the, well, the basic objectives of Hope Heart, number one, is kids will always have their basic necessities. The food, uh, clothing, shelter, um, medicines. We will never let a child go without those. You know, a lot of people say, why do you take our money and take it out of our country when there's so much need here? And I know there's need here but there's also a tremendous amount of help and social programs here that aren't available there. And a lot of times the song that we sing here at church a lot runs through my mind where it says, we will walk on the streets that are golden. We will dance every tongue, every tribe, every nation. We're not the be all and the end all. You know, America has been so blessed and there is a lot of help here. These kids, by where they were born, don't forget that. When I think about all the kids that are adopted out of the Ukraine every year, and I think, you know, if just more people would step up and do something, what a difference we could make. But in God's eyes, and someday when we dance on the streets that are golden, some of these kids, because of what we've done, are going to be there. What better reason to give them money than to give them a chance, to give them a hope. <laughs>